I need to ask a favor of you. A delivery awaits me at the docks, a very rare orb, all the way from the island of Madagascar. But there is a problem. One of my associates wants the flower for himself. He sent ruffians to collect it, if you can believe that. I need you to collect it for me first. Yeah! 
That's a girl. You up and stir it up. Oh. Oh. Steady on. Let's go. Thank you, my young friend, thank you. This little orchid may seem inconsequential, but it holds secrets which could potentially change our very understanding of the world. It would have been a shame to lose it. Shame indeed. Thank you. My dear Darwin, do you think our young friend here, equipped with a multiplicity of talents, might be enough to ensure Mr. Hammond safe passage? Who's Hammond when he's at home, then? Which one? A mutual friend of ours. He arrives in London today. From South Africa, no less. Mr. Hammond is possessed of both tremendous wealth and charming innocence which makes him rather attractive prey for some of our great city's less savory inhabitants. We fear he'll need a more robust escort than two old men might provide. I'm not a coachman, you know. We have already told him to expect you. His train should have arrived ten minutes ago. Well, then, I suppose a friend of yours is a friend of mine. Moving. Slow down now. That's the way.
Mr. John Hammond? That is correct. Jacob Fry, Mr. Dickens sent me to meet you. Oh, good old Dickens. How very kind of him. Lead on, then. Mr. Fry, imagine still with us. Come along. London. Can't say I've missed the weather. My father passed away recently, and I have come home to settle his affairs. Also, I am to be married. You don't sound too keen on the idea. I have never even met my future bride, Bella Wilton. It was all arranged for me. She may be a good woman, or she may not. I stand to inherit a vast sum. Can I be certain that the lady is not simply in it for the money? And I'm your money! Quickest oh, talks. Care to trade them for me? I hear my wealth attracts too much attention. That did give me an idea. Perhaps I can test my bride's sincerity. to take you home and feed you to me dogs. I am now officially dead and have thus shed my fortune. I shall meet Bella Wilton as a nobody. We shall see if she'll have me now. Come, we must dispose of my body. Find us a carriage to take us to the river. Doing fine. Work. How exciting! This is like something out of a novel. And I hope it played no. Buggers, keep moving. Green fire. It's gonna be a crash! That's the way. On, girl. That's a girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy, girl. Easy. from my shoulders. After this, just to be sure, would you take me to my fiancé's house? I shall deliver the sad news to myself. Seems a bit risky to me. She has never set eyes on me. Besides, Doing I need to ascertain you. whether I like her as well. Miss Wilson? Yes? My name is John Rokesmith. I'm afraid I have some terrible news for you. Oh? Your fiancé, John Hammond, was found dead in the River Thames this morning. Oh, how awful! Poor Mr. Hammond. I am at a loss at what to say to you, sir. 
You must forgive me. She is delightful. Why, I do believe I love her. <laughs> Certainly an unusual first meeting to talk about in your wedding speech. and I require... You remember that young lady I was engaged to marry before I faked my death so that I could see what sort of woman she was? to where I am waiting. I shall leap from a shadowy corner and beat you to a pulp, thereby saving her life and winning her heart. That is far and away, beyond the shadow of a doubt, the worst plan I have ever heard. Now, put me down somewhere insalubrious and I shall ready an ambush. Somewhere in Lambeth should suffice. Do. That's Looks a girl. Rough enough. Off you go and nab her. She's at Waterloo Station, I believe. Oh, and make sure you play your part well. Walk on, girl. That's the way. Easy does it. Oh, 
Unhand me this instant! You shall be here. sorely disappointed if you think you shall profit from this. Oh. Why are you Is doing this? Possible? What could you, you fancy some fun? I demand you explain yourself at once. Looks like there's been a killing, maybe two. Do you think it's a crime? Whoa, What's that over there? Make yourself scarce. Count on me. Push up, Daddy! Easy now. One. will be all. <laughs> Today's your lucky day.
Easy. We're done here. Count on me. I shall save you, madam, for I am John Hammond, your fiancé. What? You Take ah. this, you rogue! What a happy coincidence that you were here to save me! Wasn't it? And if you will allow me, my dearest Bella, I shall forever be by your side to protect you from this day forth. Come, my dear, let us be gone from this terrible place, and I shall explain all. I should return to Charlie and Charlie to tell them the happy news. It's his word again. <laughs> Steady on. well that ends well. Our young lovers are united at last and will soon marry. No accounting for taste, I suppose. And by the looks of you, they really hit it off. <laughs> I must say, it's all rather exciting. I do love these sorts of tales. It all feels strangely familiar. I wonder why. We should drink to John Hammond and his unconventional idea of courtship. Indeed. To John Hammond, our mutual friend.
a letter for me. I will not build a single bus for you criminals. Oh, you'll do as we say, Bailey. Or we're gonna have to pay you and your family a visit. You leave them be. Blighters are here. The city's been turned upside down since Attaway Transport and the Milner Company went belly up. There you are. With no one to fill their shoes, the gangs made their move. Well done, Jacob. As is Bailey, the only omnibus builder in the city, they are demanding that I work for them. I know good men who want to form a united transport company. What is it they say in America? For the people, by the people? That is our intention for the London General Omnibus Company. But those thugs got hold of the deed to Attaway Trust. Easy, girl.
I sent Roth's men a message. You and your family are safe. Oh, you are blooming brilliant. The founding members of the London General Omnibus Company. Good, moral men. All of them. We'll have buses rolling before you know it. Thank you, Miss Fry. My pleasure. She saw, sir. Bus feud ends in blood. I'll take one. Here you go, sir. I say we stop this goodwill towards strangers nonsense and focus on what London really needs. Solid leadership, whose hard work will raise everyone up to success. As go the titans of business, so goes the world. Oh, oi! You weak fool! Get a job! The best guards money can buy won't do Mr. Dredge any good. Keep your eyes ahead of you and walk. Right. 
dialogue's getting bored. Come now. You are barking up the wrong like tree, sir. There's something going on. Stupid pillock! I'll have you arrested. The less you fight, the sooner you'll be released. Eyes front. Now, oh, wait a minute. What is going on over there? I know that voice. Fry, is that you? Fry! Keep your eyes ahead of you and walk. Jacob, it's me, Sergeant Frederick Appeline. Freddy. Sergeant, undercover. There's to be a robbery at the Bank of England, I'm sure of it. Robbery? It's a fortress. Mm, the boys at the station thought I was joking. Wouldn't be so funny if it was their life savings. Who's behind it? That's confidential. Oh, come on, Freddy. I can help you. Imagine the headlines. Thieves caught in the act. Abilene Wright all along. Well, I suppose I can fill you in a little. Every fiscal quarter, a branch of the bank is robbed. Never the same branch. The thieves are supplied by... Cockham merchants. Thanks for the info, Freddy. It's Sergeant! I, I, I'm keeping my eye on you. 